I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! Attention comedy musicians and comedy music fans! The Logan Awards are taking open nominations for Outstanding Comedy Songs and Videos released last year for this year's awards. Did you release a comedy song or comedy music video in 2023? Or have a favorite one of those that was released then? Then nominated for the Logan Awards today. The Logan Awards are essentially the Comedy Music Awards, because the Grammys don't even acknowledge us or shove us in with spoken word. They are sponsored annually by the Funny Music Project and are presented in three categories. Outstanding Original Comedy Song, Outstanding Parody Song, and Outstanding Comedy Music Video. If you have a comedy song that was released in 2023 that you'd like to nominate for 2024's awards, head to loganawards.com and click the nominations tab at the top. There is a minimum and maximum of five nominations per person. Hurry, nominations close this year on July 31st. For more details about Logan himself, the awards, and more, check out loganawards.com. Help us commemorate this year's best comedy songs and music videos with a trophy, the way they do with every other form of entertainment. But if you want your favorites to win, you have to nominate them by July 31st. Get your nominations in now at loganawards.com, brought to you by thefump.com. Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane E, and I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here, and that's why this week I am reacting to Don't Google Mommy by Ricky Lindholm of Garfunkel and Oates. If this is your first time joining us, yes, I am a comedy musician, and I react exclusively to comedy music because that is where my field of expertise lies. What this means for you is that I'm going to pause the video. Kind of a lot, actually. This way I'm not talking over the jokes and missing things, or even just laughing over the jokes and missing them. I can discuss how the video and song work in tandem to help enhance the lyrics, or sometimes the lack thereof. Uh, I talk about the analysis of the song and why things work and why they don't for me. It is an analysis as well as a reaction. Sometimes I even explain jokes, because that's always fun for people, and sometimes I just sit back and laugh my damn head off. It's a crapshoot whatever you're going to get, but I think it's a good time either way. If you like that sort of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my own comedy and music early, and all sorts of other cool perks. But anyway, all of that out of the way, let us dive in to this brand new song. Now, Ricky Lindholm... Uh, is an accomplished uh, comedian, actress, and also, as I mentioned previously, part of the duo of Garfunkel and Oates with Kate Micucci, uh, both of whom were interviewed for the book... Oh, that thing fell. Uh, the book Taking Funny Music Seriously, which is available now at all major book retailers as well as directly from uh, Indiana University Press. I highly recommend this book if you have not seen my videos about it before. Uh, and I'm not just saying that because I'm in the book too. Uh, I was interviewed for this uh, as well as they were. Uh, but they are accomplished comedy musicians. Uh, they have uh, performed together and separately. Uh, Kate has done songs solo and now it is Ricky's turn to do songs solo. Uh, this is the first song from her upcoming album slash show. I, I think it's a one-woman show that she's doing at the Edinburgh uh, Fringe Festival. Uh, I think it's called Dead Inside. I can't remember now. I had it before this, and then it just went away out of my brain, as many things do. Um, but this is the first song from that. This is a lyric video, so it's not going to be a, a full music video type thing, but sometimes lyric videos tend to be kinetic typography, so that can kind of enhance visuals a little bit more. But um, I have heard clips of this song, but I have not heard the song in its whole form, uh, so I know that it does reference some of the songs of Garfunkel and Oates. Uh, and uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of theirs. I like their stuff. I think I have all but one of their albums. I don't think I was able to, to get a copy of their last album, their most recent album, um, but I have the previous ones, and I'm a big fan of, of their work. Uh, and I've I think I've reacted to maybe one of their songs here on the... Uh, the show, and of course, if you saw the ad before this, the Logan Awards, they've won a Logan Award, too. So, anyway, moving on, let's dive into this. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mommy wants to give you some advice. Like, don't run with scissors or touch people's eyeballs and try to always be nice. Yeah, that's... Pausing it right away, just because, uh, yeah, don't... 
babies touching baby, babies will touch anything because they're you know they're curious and things are tactile and have different feelings when you touch them. I hate it when they touch directly onto the eyeballs. I have a thing about my eyes anyway, so that's always going to be a problem. And nothing quite so much fun as a child coughing directly into your open mouth. That's babies. Babies are, are gross. They're little disease factories. Um, but uh, <laughs> I say that, that's a little harsh, <laughs> I realize after saying that. Um, I also think this is amazing uh, because uh, Garfunkel and Oates had a song called Pregnant Women Are Smug. And uh, uh, yeah, this is a song about being a parent now. How times change. Uh, this is uh, already sounding very Garfunkel and Oates esque as far as the style of music, but of course, since they both wrote the songs for Garfunkel and Oates, of course, it's going to. It's going to have both of their uh, same style in it, even when they work solo. And when you're upset, take a breath. Try to stay patient and calm. But the number one thing I ask of you, whatever you do, don't Google your mom. <laughs> Uh, yeah, when you've made a career of making, uh, humorous, uh, t humorous TV shows that kind of ride the, at the edge, and, uh, songs that are definitely on the edge of, uh, what some would say good taste, what I say is, uh, you know, playing blue, uh, that is definitely an, an interesting thing. And also, uh, the, the fact that Don't Google Mom just has the legs in the air, that should be a precursor as to why, maybe, because a lot of... Uh, Ricky was on a show called Another Period on Comedy Central, which was a, a period piece, but also not, uh, if you're not familiar with their work. Uh, there's also a Garfunkel Notes TV show that was on IFC. Um, lots of good stuff. Whatever you do, don't Google your mom. It's just funny. Already. Don't Google mommy. Please say you won't. You might think you want to. You don't. The more you look, the worse it'll be. So please, baby, please, don't Google mommy. It's just such a simple little melody. The 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 musicality, the instrumentation in it is is almost like a child's record. It's just like a little simple piano bit, not too much instrument instrumentation, but it's like it's like a lullaby, but about not googling what your mom, an actress in Hollywood and comedian, has done. Very, very, very specific to Ricky, <laughs> but also like, you know, to any performer. Sure. Cause mommy writes comedy songs that are a teensy bit obscene about <laughs> hand jobs and flow jobs and fucking a stranger, I guess every penis I've ever seen. <laughs> so nothing quite like writing a song to your child and dropping the F bomb. <laughs> uh that's good. And yes, those are those are references to uh to <laughs> to uh Garfunkel notes songs hand job bland job I don't understand job uh, is a great song the uh, fucking a stranger I'm not sure which one that one is and uh, every penis I've ever seen there's uh, so many so many good songs that are going to I feel are going to be referenced here and sure not all the things our parents do are gonna please us but I'm the only one at mommy and me who saying fuck me in the ass cuz I love Jesus Referencing your other songs to make a point about comedy, but also making this comedic. I love meta humor. I love meta humor. I've said that here before, and I, I love that. This is the loophole, of course, which uh, <laughs> this was the the section of the song that I'd heard. I'd heard of like the little clip that she posted on, I think, like Instagram or something, and that was using the actual clips of the original uh, videos. And, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's the only one in Mommy and Me who's saying. <laughs> that's, that's great. That's just, that's just good stuff. You should be watching the wheels and the bus go round and round. You're not ready yet to watch Mommy criticize our biggest religion while simulating anal on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, maybe don't let your kid have the internet for at least 12 years at least uh. I don't 
don't regret one single bit Still don't want you seeing it <laughs> Guess I'm just old-fashioned like that Yeah, I don't regret the songs that I've done I don't regret saying Fuck me in the ass because I love Jesus Because it's the whole that doesn't count uh, But uh, <laughs> But yeah, maybe, you know I don't regret it Still don't want you seeing it until you're older, even if even if you're older, maybe not wanting you to see it, because, you know, sometimes you don't want to see your parents in that light, whether they're making a joke or not. <laughs> I was living life, having fun, not giving any thought to it, then all of a sudden you were there and it was like, oh shit. <laughs> so don't Google mommy, please make that choice, I don't want you listening to Slippery When Moist. Slippery When Moist is the name of one of their albums. <laughs> Uh, I think I think that's one of the now al the albums. I know in one of the, I know the most recent album I think is called Secretions, uh, but I think Slippery When Moist was one of the album songs, and I think there was a song also with that title. Uh, <laughs> please make that choice. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> The songs are all true and all about me. <laughs> Sometimes we add a little uh, creative... Uh, I can't think of the word now. Like a, a authoritative license. A little creative license to kind of... It's a little true, but we expand that to add comedy. Uh, sometimes we don't. Uh, that's a thing with writing. Uh, you know, you're putting yourself in your work. Some people more than others. That's... That's all good. <laughs> Mommy's an actress and sometimes she acts in scenes that are naughty. And now everyone at Gymboree can see your mommy's body. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she was in one of my favorite movies, Knives Out. Uh, sadly, most of her, the stuff that she did ended up on, as deleted scenes on the cutting room floor. Uh, but she has uh, um, some amazing scenes already in that film, even without uh, the ones that were trimmed. Uh, but yeah, she's, you know, she's an actress. She's been in a lot of movies. Uh, there are certain movies where you see more things that, you know, you would expect because you're an actress in Hollywood. You're an actor in Hollywood. You're given roles that sometimes ask for a little bit more than what other roles ask. It's part of the business. Some people get naked for artistic reasons to tell the story the best way they could. Mommy did it because someone asked, and five seconds later she said, Sounds good. <laughs> five seconds later she said, Sounds good. Uh, <laughs> not a lot of thought was put into that. Uh, maybe, seemingly, apparently. Uh, that is hilarious. That is so good. <laughs> People do it for artistic reasons. I did it because five seconds later so it sounded good. Oh, that's... That's... <laughs> sure, everyone's got indiscretions online like random exes or maybe a drunk thing or two, but it's worse for you when all of your friend's parents can look at my labia. <laughs> when I heard the word maybe a... Uh, I was wondering, nay, predicting that the rhyme would be labia, but uh, I wasn't quite certain how it was going to find its way there. That's certainly a line in a song now. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's take it back a second here. <laughs> like random X's or maybe a... Uh, <laughs> that's just... That's so good. That's, that's so funny. Okay. Sure, everyone's got indiscretions online, like random exes or maybe a drunk bit or two, but it's worse for you when all of your friends' parents can look at my labia. Don't worry, I got scale plus ten, and honestly, I'd do it against. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Honestly, I got scale plus ten. Alright, so for people who may not understand what that means, uh, scale is the minimum what you get paid paid for uh, playing a role in something. You know, uh, unless you're like a very, very big name actor getting millions of dollars per picture by your contract, scale is like the, the minimum amount that you can get for a lead role or whatever. 
Um, scale plus 10 would just mean that amount plus more. Uh, and obviously getting paid more because you're doing something a little more than most actors would appearing nude in a, in a movie. Um, and honestly, I'd do it again. It's a great rhyme. Scale plus 10, do it again. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> justifying it by by saying you got paid for it. Uh, <laughs> that's great. That's that's good stuff. Um, there, I, I noticed something in that section, though, like... Like random mixes or maybe a drunk night or two. Drunk or two. She sings drunk night or two, but it only says drunk or two. Uh, as somebody who who misses captioning things in some of the videos. In fact, one of the ones I did recently, I missed a word in the caption, uh, and I just didn't notice. Uh, seeing things like that pop up, I feel that 100% completely. It just slips by sometimes, <laughs> and it's just something I noticed. Also, there is just something that's so inherently funny in comedy music to me. When you have backup singers that are singing the goofy stuff that you sing. You know, as as the, 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 the choral notes of, of, look at my labia, just like coming up in the background. <laughs> like... Stuff that I would record, like when I would be in the same booth as uh, my producer, Ben, went on some of the songs that we would do together, and the stuff that I had him singing as my backup, uh, just, it's always funny. It's always funny just to hear those bits isolated. Like, if you're listening to the song and, like, you're just listening to just the backing stuff behind everything, there's some great stuff going on there. There's layers. Because at the end of the day, this is comedy music. You're still doing musical things with it. It's not just jokes set to music. You're making music and having all those musical elements to it and having those parts uh, also be part of the comedy as well as the music is always it's one of the things I love about this stuff. It's great. It's it's so great. And then honestly I do it again. Still don't watch things I've had a part in wait till you're in kindergarten. I'm just super <laughs> 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 Don't watch things I've had a part in wait till you're in kindergarten. Yeah, cuz that's enough time. <laughs> Okay, I'm really enjoying this one. I'm, I'm really enjoying this one. <laughs> uh, uh, I've uh, <laughs> I had a rough week, and I needed a laugh. <laughs> Maybe, uh, don't worry, I got Just so coral and Honestly, beautiful. I do it again. So don't watch things I've had a part in. Wait till you're in kindergarten. I'm just super modest like that. I'm super modest like that. Thought five seconds and that sounds good. Super modest. <laughs> Again, the, the 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 dichotomy is comedy. It's great. All of it's out there for free. <laughs> I'm sorry, that is the new wallpaper. Just because I'm disgusting doesn't mean I don't adore you. <laughs> that's, that's a new Valentine's card right there, honestly. <laughs> and honestly, Mommy's a pioneer. She did that when such Amy was cool. She started her YouTube in 2007. Now you get to go to private school. Bravo. <laughs> did that when slut shaming was cool. It's not cool. It shouldn't have been cool then, whatever. People are allowed to do what they want to do. Uh, but because of that, you did that in 2007, and now you get to go to private school. That's great. Paid paid for your schooling. Great. <laughs> and I promise to pay for your therapy. <laughs> please wait as long as you can to Google me. Oh, that's... That's glorious. That's a great ending to the song. I promise I'll pay for your therapy, but just wait as long as you can to Google me. That is that is great. And the little melodic note at the end, that's beautiful. And of course, a link to the loophole by Garfunkel and Oates. <laughs> that, is, that is quality. Bravo, Ricky. Uh, looking forward to the new album. 
and uh, I wish I could go to Edinburgh to see the show, but alas. But uh, I really enjoyed that. Hope you all did too. If you want to see the video, of course, without me yammering all over it, link is in the description box below. Go check it out and show Ricky some love. If you did like this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out like these people over here do, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, name in the credits, all sorts of cool extras. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Danny said to Dan, I see somebody walking this way. So Marty rolled down the window and said, hello, excuse me, hey. Could you tell us where we are and the best way out of here?